Peg Brothers off-road. Even after LS swapping my Jeep, it has never had enough power. And after watching way too much Fast and Furious, we got the bright idea to twin turbo it. This twin turbo system took us eight months to build. But on September 11th, 2023, it started up for the first time. This will be the first startup of the twin turbo TJ. How many months has it been? At least 40. Pushing it out so we don't catch Brady's house on fire. It's the worst that can happen. Well, nothing. It's just... That's a lot of work. This thing has a ran since January? Yeah, well, yeah, January. Yeah, everything's pretty much different other than the Atlas and the axles. This is one of those projects where Caleb says, yeah, I mean, it's getting the same motor, same transmission, same wiring, pretty much. It's gonna fly together. All I gotta do is mount turbos and do an exhaust system and it's done. All that went out the window though, because I changed everything. There was things from the first time I built it that I didn't like. All the wiring is completely different, completely custom. All they need to know is you started this in January and it is now September. September. I mean, I don't even know the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours. I think that's where the well, it could, pit in your gut. It could blow up. It could blow up. Well, it's not even... There's like, a good chance. Yeah, they totally could. All the fittings are tight, and the time has come to start this bad boy. Gabe, you ready? No. The hose is hooked up in case we have a fire. The neighbors are going to love us. Here we go. All right, here, here's the first test. Tell me how that worked. All right, got it. Take two. It's, it's warm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Should I try it again? Dude, that sounds good. I can't hear the turbos. They're spinning. They're spinning. Oh yeah. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it sounds put together. Wow, that's 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 a different wide. sound. <laughs> what's so the wide. what's the big is that the fan making that sound with the know. shroud? Twelve seconds later. We're going to hell and back! We were convinced at that point that we were going to make 24 hell and back for sure. 24 hell and back is one of the biggest off-road YouTube challenges in the world. And that night, we had six more days until that challenge started. We got this Jeep running at like 3 a.m. that night. And the next morning, we threw it on the trailer, jumped in a truck, drove down to Utah so we could bring it to one of the best tuners around. And we had no idea our worst nightmare was about to happen. I know what you're thinking. That's a brand new motor on the dyno, sketchy, don't worry. We drove it around that morning, we got it hot, we got it cold, we ripped it around, everything was broken, it had a couple of hours of runtime before we put it on the dyno. It was running like a dean.
We did the first probably 10 poles setting up all the fueling and all the timing and it was perfect. It was spot on. So we started increasing the boost and this is what happened. We were screwed. Well, you're looking at my Jeep on the dyno, and we just lost the bottom end in it, and um, we think it's probably a rod, but we were right around 12 pounds of boost. Sent it through the side of the block, and so um, we got to roll it off of here, find a new motor, and um, See if we can get this whole thing together in how many days? Four days. So that last pull, they hit 12 pounds of boost and a uh, puff of smoke, as you guys saw. Um, hit rod hit the side of the block, and there's a big old hole in the block now. And we have Helen back. Today's Tuesday. Helen back is on Sunday. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do. My Jeep's not ready. That one needs a new motor. Um, this is bad. We brought Dad's Jeep down to come get tuned for the last time. So Brady is going to drive it over to the shop and we'll use it to pull Caleb's Jeep out up and onto the trailer and we'll lick our wounds and figure out a game plan. After we came to terms that this all actually happened, we loaded the Jeep up and we headed over to our Uncle Nick's house to see what damage was actually done. There's a good possibility it's a simple fix. And all this time I've been going through such pain and personal anguish. <laughs> ah, who am I kidding? That was, that was a bad noise. <laughs> We're gonna drop in this oil right here. Oh, 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 still. oh where's your oh. wrist pin right there? Oh my gosh. Our neighbor. The crank's fine. Oh yeah, yeah. Unless it's, it's bent. It's, it's mint. Look, the bolts are fine. <laughs> oh it's my! Broken. It broke the connecting it looked like rod. It's got mess mouth in there. It spin that, spin oh, that yeah. rod. Oh my! It busted clean off. Clean off. Well, you know what? Look, your fasteners didn't break, so yeah, that's good. There See, you go. Stock bolts are good up to twelve. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, we realized that Caleb's Jeep was a little bit out of our hands because now we had to wait for machine shops. We had to source special parts, and there's just no way they were going to get here in time. You can't just roll down to Napa and grab a rotating assembly. No. It was going to have to get shipped. Yep. So the one thing that we did have full control of was Alex's Jeep, because he almost had every single part he needed to finish that thing. But we were about a month and a half worth of labor to get that thing done and ready to actually hit a trail. On our way home, we made the call. We're getting Alex's Jeep to hell and back. And we started overnighting parts. We started laying out exactly how the week was going to have to go, what was going to have to get done, when it was going to have to start to get the 24 hell and back in four days. We had just barely put the body on that thing. Camera around. Oh my gosh. Alex's Jeep is starting in this. Well, it, it should start. We literally been working non-stop and somehow, I don't know how, 
I don't know how we were able to do it this it's fast. These two guys. We freaking we cranked. Grabbed, we grabbed something on the list and all day, every day, for two days straight, we knocked it out. We gotta we're get ready. these people some action. There there's we're enough of the we're story. We're about to fire this thing out. We're about to hear it for the first time. Everyone's getting pumped. My heart's starting to pump. Here we go. Guys, it started! We're gonna make it! For some reason, the stars aligned that night, and it started. And two days later, we were in southern Utah with it. So Helen back was super fun. We met a ton of cool people. It was an amazing experience. And we're still trying to fix my Jeep wrap. We, <laughs> we did film a video, but we can't release it until Helen back comes out, and that should be the first week of December. We have one week to get this Jeep ready. We still don't know what we're going to do for a motor. We don't know exactly how much got ruined when we exploded it on the dyno. So right now, we're going to pull this motor out as fast as we humanly can, get it disassembled, and find out what we need for the next motor. And all of this is going to happen in hopefully one week. A lot has happened in the last eight weeks since we've been gone. And I gotta introduce you guys to the newest member of the Peck Brothers family, Bo. I can't believe that I am a dad. This is what it's all about. We love Jeeps, we love motors, we love all of it. But the most important thing to all of us is the family. And he's probably the biggest reason that we haven't dropped a video in forever. We just gotta make sure his car seat fits in the Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> That's not why you guys are here, but that's my whole life. I am so proud of my wife, Lou, for everything that she's done. Having him and taking care of him while I've been working on these freaking Jeeps. You're gonna see more of Bo in future videos. We got some fun ideas planned up for him and the channel. But right now, we gotta get this flipping Jeep apart. off the intake off and once we did that we found we're finding chunks of metal in the intake which that's not good that ain't good oh, no. it's almost like the motor is maybe that's bad. why it won't start get out of here oh yeah yeah we're almost ready to pull the whole motor out once that's out we can take it all apart that, that was fast that was quick like We'll get an exact time up on the screen right now for how fast we did that. But man, four guys ripping on this thing. We kind of got carried away. I thought we were gonna film a little bit more, but it's, it is all time-lapse, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Holy flip, guys, it is out. That was the fastest motor pole I've ever been a part of. Isn't that an That's oil fitting? The oil, just so you know. Oh. That's not how oil should look. Okay, you can't keep your motor cool like that. We were trying to get rid of the overheating problems. Dude, that's crazy. Holy cow. The EPA is gonna love that bucket of oil. Or of, well, you know what I mean. Anyway. 
<laughs> oh, dude. That just, that makes a guy sick. That's oh. not, I mean, look how fresh the paint is. I mean, it's not even, like, got hot yet. I know. I don't even want to think about it anymore. I think we ought to just break out the soldering iron. I could probably JB weld that for you fine. I'll bet it hold, too. It's a problem. You got a tag now. Inside, it's a problem. <laughs> How long was the, f the final time? How long did it take us? One hour, 40 minutes. Holy Start cow. <laughs> That's crazy. One hour and 40 minutes. Ah. Alex, one hour and 40 minutes. That's crazy. We have no idea what we're even doing. <laughs> no. It's the first time. When we're fabricating, we have to take into account it's going to come back out, go back in, <laughs> come back out. So we're trying to make it easy. A lot of this did get built to get worked on. There's just a ton of parts that go into this turbo system that make it hard. Yeah, it looks complicated. Yeah, if you're anything like us, just make things easy. <laughs> Come out. It is going to, eventually. All right, Brad, what do we got? Well, things ain't looking good. We forgot to film this, but we've got bent push rods. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and we're going to keep pulling off the heads and seeing how bad and how deep that carnage is. We only have two bent push rods, all right, Alex? Yeah, and they're just barely bent, too. Like, in a in a bind, you could probably use these and be just fine. Let's see. <laughs> that bind. looks fine to me. No, I'm serious. If you blew your motor out on the trail. <laughs> all right, let's get that head off. Right, is, that the, is that the bad? No, that should be still good, that side. All right, so everybody's making fun of me, but I just want to make sure we do this right. Everybody's going to roast me on there, say it don't matter, but I got the front of the motor here. We got cylinders two, four, six, eight. Then on this side, we got one, three, five, seven. I just want to make sure that the push rods all go in the exact same as the way they came out because we did use break-in oil. Some say it don't matter. Some say it does, so we're just going to... Be extra cautious and make sure we do it right. Hopefully. And hopefully Texas Speed sells us two push rods, cause hopefully the new engine builder cleans this stuff first. You ready to see what's under this head? Yeah, let's see it. Nasty. Come on, come on, lift oh, the head. What's the head look like underneath? How did that? Wow. That head's look, okay. Is that look good? Look at this stuff at, in here. Look at the. That is under a valve. Oh. There's shards in every, every one cylinder. of these cylinders. <laughs> oh my wow. gosh. Where did they come from? Do you think the piston picked it up and pushed it up? I don't. It might have come up, <sighs> up through, through the, the intake. intake. And through the. That didn't go through. A no, valve. it could have. I wonder if it could have came through. No, it probably couldn't. What? Holy oh crap. Gosh. That wasn't going to start after that. <laughs> oh. Dude, look at all of those chunks. That's part of a ring right there, I think. Yeah, that, Head gasket held. That, that right there, that's... Yeah, we'll reuse that. That's a ring. This is clear on the front of the motor. The bad Which, one's on the this The bad side one the is back. that back... What is that, number seven? How on wow. earth did that... Holy crap. It had to have come through the valves. So that means that manifold is probably clear full of stuff and that means that you need all new valves and two new heads ah! luckily these are just 317s that you can pretty much find between your couch cushions <laughs> because of these for about 20 bucks yeah, yeah these were expensive heads oh my dude I, I, this is going to look like a war zone under this. Dude, thing. this one's going to be bad. What's your gut feeling on the camshaft, Ray? Do you think it's good? I think it's going to be polishable. What do you think, Dad? I'm going to, I'm going to go with that just for some positive thinking. About you. Why is that not coming We've got two positives. I'm going to be the negative guy. Oh, don't be I that guy. My head was going to be fine. I thought it was too. All right, here we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's like dimples. Look at this that. cylinder. Look at what it did. That oh, spark look plug. At that cylinder. 
Every, oh every my one of these, gosh. Every, every one of them still has I bet we could just chunk. own it. Yeah, I'd just maybe go grab some of that emery cloth sandpaper. Wow. Dude. Why'd you have to ruin your motor? Oh. Why didn't you put the O-ring on your pickup, too? <laughs> Dude. I think your lifters might be all right. That literally gives oh, me, like, a sick to my stomach. Why? Dude, look at that. That just hurts. You're fine. Let's take this front cover off and get the cam out. We're real good at taking things apart, though. Yeah, real fast. I'm gonna... the putting back together thing. That... Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. Dude, how was crap from yeah. the top of the piston clear up here? Those front cover bolts. Hopefully yep. that oil pump is still good. So all right, we got one more plate. One more and plate. Then this coming out. Did everybody place their bets? Yeah, we yeah. did. Other than me. What do you think? Uh, here's what I think. I think we're gonna take it out and not have any idea what we're looking at. That's what I think. <laughs> that was gonna be my guess. Well, that's that's guaranteed. You don't need to bet nothing. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, guys. Roached? No. Roached. The biggest one is that right there. No, oh, we got that guy, that guy. That looks good to me. I think I was right. We got it out and don't really know what we're looking at. Ooh, there's another good one. I think we should call Okay, up. what are we thinking here? Old Michigan. I think we need to let somebody who knows what the heck they're doing. Yeah, knows what they're at looking it. at. Well, Caleb always claims he knows what he's looking at. And what he's doing. Isn't that what he says, Alex? Yeah. A lot? Mm -hmm. I just, I the know thing, everything. The two things but he says a lot are his opinion and the problem is. And things don't make sense. It's on the edge. I mean, I don't flip a no. But I do know that some machinist is going to know. This cam kit was a fortune. I'm pretty sure just the valve springs are good, which. That's good, right? Valve springs, they're expensive. Yeah, so that's good, but. We were just optimistic, trying to pull this thing apart. Maybe the lifters, maybe the cam, maybe the push rods aren't bent. And literally, I think everything is the whole motor driven. So I just don't really know what we're going to do. So I'm pulling the pistons out, get the rest of the way disassembled on this thing. That's what we're doing right now. Which one's this? Is, is this, this number? Is this odd side? This, this is number six. This is number six. Let's not drop that. Yeah, again. keep the bearing. We're gonna reuse those. <laughs> there she is. There we go. Watch the bearing. Yep. Yeah. That's number five. That's number five. Number four? That's number four. Ooh. Number three right here. Callie came up wondering why there was rocks in the cylinder. This one's got a lot of rocks in this <laughs> cylinder. That right there is cylinder number two. Cylinder number one. This is, we're proud of this guy. Yeah. He every did his job. One, every one of these, they held up to 12 pounds of boost. I mean, these are good pistons right here. This motor is just like football and life, really. It takes one guy to not do his job, to not play his position perfect, and it ruins the whole entire thing. Cylinder number seven ruined it for everybody. Be the guy everybody can count on. Be all the other cylinders. Don't be the cylinder seven guy. Even even if you're a stock Gen 3 rod doing stuff yep. that shouldn't. Yep. <laughs> Hang in there. Hang in, <laughs> Hang in, there. in there. You keep holding Someone on. Someone needs you back. <laughs> Yeah. All right, pull that crank out. Oh. There she be. If any of you guys out there want to help us out and get a new motor in this Jeep for Trail Hero, we're going to put these pistons on the website. This is one that I just did. Cleaned it up and signed it, Peck Brothers. This is cylinder number four. It's 12 PSI rated rod on here. 
There's obviously only seven pistons, so there's only a finite amount of this stuff from my motor that we can sell, but this is a good desk ornament. You can throw it wherever, keep it, know that by buying this, you really helped us out to keep this dream alive in the twin turbo G. We are gonna have a broken rod shirt as well that we're gonna drop. And every product sold on the website from the time that we blew the motor to when we get the new motor in, all of that money is gonna go to help us get a new motor into my Jeep. So you'll be able to get your broken rod limited edition Peck Brothers shirt on the website now. These pistons are on the website now. And remember, don't be cylinder number seven. Thank you so much for watching.